Hey Nancy Drew fans, we're back for book 51, Mystery of the Glowing Eye. This book begins with Nancy mulling over a comment from her father's new employee, and we really see a whole new side of our favorite girl detective. At once her mind reverted to Marty King. The 24-year-old platinum blonde was a recent graduate of nearby Bushwick Law School. She was working in Mr. Drew's office as a researcher. And not as a detective, Nancy fumed. She can't take the Anderson case away from me. Nancy admits her jealousy to Best and George, and then she spends the next several pages really freaking out about her future. Would her father ever again discuss with her the cases that troubled him? What would it be like without a mystery for her to solve? Tears formed in Nancy's eyes, but she smiled and said, Thank you, Bess. Maybe I'm just making a mountain out of a molehill. Soon after, a mysterious unpiloted helicopter shows up in the front lawn, and Nancy finds a message inside from Ned that says cryptically, Beware of Cyclops. Mr. Drew had also asked her to investigate his Anderson case about a huge glowing eye in a museum in Emerson, so Nancy and the girls head there, where they learn that Ned's gone missing. Ned's kidnapping, combined with the ongoing weirdness with her dad and Marty King, really leaves Nancy off kilter. Nancy frantically follows Ned's trail through several hideouts, and she really starts to worry that the kidnapper is a total psychopath when she comes across one evil lair filled with paintings of battle scenes with men and animals with their eyes gouged out. In a scene reminiscent of book one, she has a moment of total panic and then talks herself out of it. George put an arm around her friend. Please don't think the worst. I'm sure we'll capture that villain before he has a chance to do anything drastic. But he might maim him, Nancy said with tears in her eyes. She buried her face in her hands and took a long, deep breath. A few seconds later, she raised her head and said, You're absolutely right, George. I mustn't let my feelings overshadow my good sense. Scenes like this one are a real change in tone. Nancy's never been the crying type before, but it is interesting to see her so vulnerable, practically estranged from her dad and obviously missing Ned. But this more emotional Nancy still gets the job done with old-fashioned sleuthing, bravery, dogged determination, and help from old and new friends like handsome young helicopter pilot Glenn, who is obviously smitten and apparently has nothing better to do than chauffeur Nancy around the area. There are plenty of making fun of best moments throughout, but here's my favorite. George had no answer, but presently Nancy said, I have a hunch that maybe the glowing eye is a present-day Cyclops. Bess's eyes opened wide. You mean there's a one-eyed monster man loose somewhere, and he kidnaps people? Yes, George replied, and his main diet is plump young ladies who like to eat sweets. Most of the meals don't mention the actual food that's consumed, like an unnamed, unusual French dish that Marty tells Nancy she's making for Mr. Drew. But there is one night when Bert and Dave make a fraternity house dinner of hamburgers and parfaits with ice cream and fruit after Nancy's been partially electrocuted. Next up, The Secret of the Forgotten City.